Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze the cantilever beam. So we have here cantilever beam of length of 6 meter. In view here, there is a uniformly distributed load acting on this cantilever beam with the unit of 5 kN per meter. So this is a uniformly distributed load acting on this cantilever beam. So how to find the support reactions and to draw the shear force and to find out and to find out the bending moment diagram for this kind of cantilever beam so we will start with a simple calculation so to find the support reaction for example let's consider this is support a so it is a fixed support so it will take the vertical reaction r a it will also take the horizontal reaction r a horizontal and also it will take the moment m a because it is a fixed support so it has the property to take all these three kind of forces but we know that the horizontal force acting on this beam is zero there is no horizontal force acting on this beam so that's why this component of the support reaction will also be equal to zero so now we have to find out only r a and also m a which is the moment at point a so to find out support reaction r a here we can find out r a in a very easy and simple step how just multiply the two quantities like for example r a will be equal to the multiply w with the length so w is 5 kN per meter and length is 6 meter so we got 30 kN so 30 kN basically is the load acting on this support reaction so r a is equal to the 30 kN so this support provides the reaction of 30 kN and keep in mind that this 30 kN if we change this to pointed load then this pointed load will always be at the center of this cantilever beam here this is 30 kN this is acting at the center of the cantilever beam so this is one part now to find out the shear force and bending moment diagram it's very easy first we have to draw the beam for example this is a beam and this is a shear force diagram for example V in kN and then we have here bending moment diagram in kilonewton and meter. So to find out the shear force and bending moment diagram, we know that 30 kilonewton is acting in upward direction here. So this will go in upward direction. 30 kilonewton. And then this is a 30 kilonewton value. And then we will bring it again to zero because the load acting at this point is zero or we can do it in this way 30 kN is upward minus this is plus because it is acting in upward direction and now minus this 5 kN per meter is the load acting on the beam till to the end of the beam so 5 into 6 this is here 5 is the load and 6 is the distance on which it is acting so it is 30 minus 30 equal to 0 so it means the load acting at this point is equal to 0 or we can also directly say because there is no load acting at the extreme corner of the beam the load is only supported here at this support and there is demand acting only on this part of the beam so this is the support reaction of this beam now how to find out the bending moment we know in cantilever there is only bending moment acting here at this point which is a negative bending moment and to find out this bending moment it's very easy and simple just to find out the area of the shear box so this shear box is now is a triangle we see the height is 30 kN and the length is 6 meter which is the length of the beam here so we can find out the area of the shear box which will be the moment so it is the area of this is a triangle and the area of triangle is half base into height so half base is 6 meter and height is 30 kN meter sorry it is 30 kN because it is a force shear force so when we when we simplify this one we got 90 kN meter so it means the moment acting at this point will be 90 kN here it will be negative 90 kN meter this is the bending moment and also the bending moment here 
at this point will be equal to zero directly because we see that there is no forces acting on this part of the beam. So the maximum bending moment will be taken at point A which will be equal to 90 kN. So you just bring, uh, you just bring the bending moment diagram here and like in this way, this point. And keep in mind if this is a one degree line, it's a linear line or one degree, then this line, this should be a two degree line or we can say parabolic line, a parabola, parabola line. Because the bending moment diagram is always one degree greater than that of the shear force diagram. So I hope you guys understood and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.